I love gift giving, but in all honesty, I'm pretty stressed about this year's gifts. I'm worried my friends will hate my gifts, or I pick something they already have, or I contribute to a capitalistic society that ends up burning down the world, which I already do, so yeah. This year, I want to be more intentional with the gifts I give and support small businesses as well as brands that support sustainability. So let's go. The first thing that I want to include in all of my gifts is a handwritten letter or card. Rather than buying more Christmas or holiday cards, I'm going to try to use the supplies I already have and I have a lot of stationery. And I feel like cards are such a great gift to give because it is both personal and cute and authentic and you can also be very creative with the process and so I'm very very excited. They're not always the most sustainable because you could technically just write like an email or something, but it hits different. So here we go. To reduce the amount of impulse shopping from the sales that come around this time of year, I'm going to make a list, check it twice and check it thrice and hope all goes well. I'm going to brainstorm and pick things that my friends and family would hopefully like and I'll just go from there. And now, here are the gifts that I got from my friends and family and the gift ideas that you could also use too. First up is this care package that I'm gifting my sister. She's a very busy person so I got her these cute scrunchies from Ten Tree for her. I really like the neutral colors and I think it'll match with any outfit so they're both cute and functional. Ten Tree has a ton of sustainably made essentials and plant ten trees with every purchase. My sister's also been obsessed with plants this year so I thought she'd appreciate the sentiment. Tenchi also has a gift guide if you're not sure what to get which I link below. B Corp certified and climate neutral certified so you definitely don't have to worry about harming the planet when shopping from them. Thank you Tenchi for gifting these items and I hope she enjoys them. I also wanted to give something so she could have a little bit of a self-care moment. So then I decided on this lash and brow set from Grande Cosmetics. She mentioned how her lashes are slowly disintegrating from overexposure to the oven and that is the life of a pastry chef but I actually told her about this gift two days ago after I made the purchase and I found out that she already has this gift so I'm in a pickle <sighs> I picked a gift so well that it is a gift that she already has. So I'm going to be back on the drawing board and we'll be brainstorming for the next few weeks before Christmas comes, but I will definitely be giving her something along the lines of self-care. Yeah, maybe some face masks, maybe some like ink related thing, maybe like a spa membership. Those are all some ideas that I'm brainstorming on. Since she already has this lash set, I might keep it for myself or I might still give it to her if she... <laughs> is open to receiving it. Okay, gift one was kind of a flop, but kind of not really, but it's okay. Cute scrunchies are definitely on her list. The next gift is a skincare bundle set for my friend Akira, who is also the co-host of our podcast. Hello, I'm here. I know it's been a long time since we've uploaded a new episode for our podcast, but we're both very busy people, mostly me, but also her. But yeah, I know we always talk about skincare and makeup together, and so I wanted to get her something along the lines of skincare or makeup and so I decided on both. I recently tried out Asiya and I really like how moisturizing their products are. I'm using the Andaria Algae Body Oil and it makes my skin super soft, smooth, and glowy. It also smells so good. Additionally, it's made of Andaria seaweed which is super nourishing. All of their products are vegan, cruelty-free, and made in California so it makes me really happy supporting a brand that is socially conscious and so-called local. I say so-called local because California is massive but technically local. I got her some of the body oil as well as their ocean cleanser, sea bionic water cream, and serum. Thank you Asiya for gifting these gifts and I really hope she enjoys it. Additionally, I decided to get her something from Euphoria for makeup. I kept seeing their color changing blushes on TikTok and I think she was the first person who showed me a video of them. I know she loves blushes and so I'm super excited to give her this one which is super unique. Their brand is also Asian slash women of color owned and so it makes me really happy to support. Next, we have a care package from my friend Tiffany, aka Read by Tiffany, who is also my co-host for Subtle Asian Book Club. I know she's been really busy with work lately, so I wanted to give her something so she could have a cozy, calm night in and kind of like take care of herself. Probably with an audiobook, physical book, or a webtoon. I did want to give her an actual book because I feel like it would be easier for her to choose a book that she wants. So instead, I got her supplemental things for her cozy reading night in. I got her a candle from Home 
Sick, which is a candle company that specializes in capturing memories through scents. We grew up in LA together, but she recently relocated because of her job, and I'm also relocating, so it feels kind of sad that neither of us are in our hometowns anymore. A little sad, a little nostalgic. So I decided to get her a candle that will remind her of our roots, which is LA. Homesick's products are also non-toxic, cruelty-free, and free of lead, plastics, and synthetic dyes. In addition, I got her a Hello Kitty themed face mask. She loves Hello Kitty related things and I thought she would appreciate. Not particularly sustainable, but I hope the joy from using the product will give her much joy and happiness. Next is a gift for my friend Brianna, aka Milky Boost. She is the third brain cell for Tiffany's chaotic projects, including but all limited to brain connections, nostalgia thon, if you know, you know, and sometimes little Asian book club. I got her some Vietnamese coffee from Copper Cow because the coffee tastes so good, and we love supporting an Asian woman of color thriving. They recently did a collab with Domi, which is how I heard about them. They have ready-made Vietnamese coffee sets, so it's super easy to make yourself a delicious cup of coffee. And I believe you can find them at Whole Foods and Sprouts now, so that's very exciting. Tiff and I also got her a three month subscription to Page One Books, which is a book subscription service that handpicks books for you based on your interests and how you describe them. It ensures that you'll get a new book that you'll likely love and it's a mini surprise every time. Brianna's the one who told me about Page One Books, so I was like, this is perfect because I'm pretty sure she already has the subscription or she was like, I really want the subscription. So yeah. Lastly, is a gift for myself. This is kind of cheating because I always give gifts for myself, but it feels nice to be included in this list. I got a beanie from Tentry, which is a brand that I mentioned earlier in this video. Since I'm moving to the East Coast, I figured I needed something to keep my head warm and this beanie is super cute. I really like the puff on the top. Also makes me really happy to be walking around with my head warm, looking cute, and supporting a conscious brand. I also got myself some almond and cashew powder from Joy. Joy is the world's most sustainable plant milk company and creates versatile plant bases that I can use in my smoothies or as a milk. I'm really excited to to make myself a hot cocoa with Domi's hot chocolate bombs and it will definitely give me a much needed self-care moment that I will need at the end of the holidays. Lastly, I got myself a hoodie from We're Not Really Strangers which I'm very excited to manifest in. I know I don't need another hoodie but this one's so cute. If you're not really sure what to give for your friends, I would recommend We're Not Really Strangers not just for their hoodies but also for their card sets. I have the self-care one as well as the original game which I really really like. You can play it on your own because it's basically like a self-reflection kit with different prompts that are very good prompts in my opinion. Would recommend. Those are all of the gifts that I will be sharing in this video because I don't want to give too many spoilers of every single friend and gift that I will be giving this year. However, here are some honorable mentions if you're still not sure what to give for your friends. First and foremost, we have Girlfriend Collective, which is one of my favorite brands ever. They're known for their active wear, but they also have some really nice fleece and puffers. I also got a puffer for myself and just general clothing accessories. I usually feel a little weird gifting clothes because I feel that fashion is a very personal thing and I wouldn't want to pick something specific for someone else if it doesn't fit their style. And it's also kind of hard and awkward if you get something in a wrong size for someone but you can also give them a gift card and I would be very happy if somebody gave me something from Girlfriend Collective but I have like three pairs of every single legging so I don't really need more stuff from Girlfriend Collective. Their stuff is pretty universal and I really like the quality. So would recommend. They're also a very very sustainable conscious brand. All of their products are made from like recycled water bottles or like recycled fish nets and I love their brand. Next we have M Cosmetics, which is hands down my favorite makeup company like ever. Usually 90% of the makeup products that I use will likely be from M Cosmetics. The quality of all their products that I use is really good and we love supporting Michelle Fawn. Then we have Libro.fm, which is an audiobook service. They specifically support audiobooks from independent bookstores and so that is very nice. I've gifted this last Christmas. Everyone loves it because then you can pick your own audiobook and you can gift either a gift card 
or a membership or whatever but would definitely recommend it is it is my personal favorite and i have a membership to libro on a similar vein is bookshop or your local independent bookstore there's nothing like getting a physical copy of a book it is like a warm hug alternatively you can also get used or well-loved copies of books that you already own that is also like a warm hug if you're looking for book recommendations i would highly recommend subtle asian book club or i shared a link to my personal favorites down below as well as links to everything i've been wanting to get something for earth and her flowers for quite some time and i recently got something for myself for my new apartment for joy for luck is a brand that i recently discovered that is a small business made by chinese american women and their jewelry is super cute i feel like jewelry is a pretty good gift to people because you can't go wrong with more jewelry or accessories in general alternatively you can gift a credit to a class so this could be a pottery class a workout class or it could just be an event together so a concert ticket some sort of event and you could also not just gift that class credit but a class where you guys take it together that is pretty fun if you are crafty or thrifty or you have a hobby that includes making things you could gift baked goods i would definitely gift my milk bread however i'm pretty stressed with moving so i don't have time to make anything which is quite sad but cookies baked goods wonderful gifts you can also do digital subscriptions i talked about page one subscriptions or a libro.fm membership but it could also be like Netflix or Hulu or any other kind of digital subscription for things that you know that they would probably get themselves That is a little bit of a more sustainable option too because then you don't have to buy a physical thing And lastly you could gift a plant You could propagate your plant if you have a plant or you can buy a plant So then it's something that they will cherish and enjoy throughout the year That is all for my list of sustainable gifts or gift ideas and all that jazz. I know the holidays can be a really stressful time so I hope this video was a little bit helpful if you're not sure what to get or if you're not sure what to get yourself if you know what I mean and yeah I hope you have a wonderful holiday season don't stress too much please take care of yourself remember to hydrate and enjoy the moment thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye